Hi there, science dummy. It's official. There's no levitating with antimatter. Well, it turns out that levitation is just another one of those things that Hogwarts has that we can't have in real life. Scientists have discovered that in the world of physics, where the laws hold true, levitation is impossible. Uh, they conducted experiments at CERN, you know, that fancy science place, and found that both matter and antimatter are pulled downwards by gravity in the same way. So no floating around for us, whether we're made of matter or antimatter. Apparently, antimatter and normal matter are the same, but they have opposite electrical charges. Normal matter is what we're used to, while antimatter is a bit trickier to find and study. So it has to be created by CERN in a lab. Yes, that's the real name of the lab. To test if antimatter responds to forces differently, the experts collected tubes of antihydrogen an antiproton paired with a positron and kept them super chilly at around minus 272 degrees C. When they let the antihydrogen loose, around 80% of it dropped downwards instead of floating upwards. So gravity works on antimatter just like it does on regular matter. In the end, there's no levitating with antimatter. So Isaac Newton would still see that anti-apple fall to the ground if he happened to be chilling under an anti-apple tree. Hey, hang on. That's Queen's guitarist, Brian May. That's better. It may not be the most exciting result, but this discovery does shed more light on the mysteries of antimatter. And hey, at least we have Hogwarts to fulfill our levitation dreams. And unlike you, I don't need levitation. So it's goodbye, I gotta fly. Subscribe!